Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. As you can see, we are in the middle of disassembling uh, the engine. We're getting ready to do the cylinder head, and I've already got the exhaust manifolds off. They're totally missing from down there, which is really great. And uh, I've already pulled the intake manifold off. I have a video on how to do that. Um, what I've done since pulling the intake manifold off is I've actually, I've pulled out the wiring harness. So as you can see, it's just draped here along the side of the car. It's really not that difficult to get it out. You just unplug a couple of the harnesses and then you got to unplug the uh, oil level sensor dip from down there. And you know, the thing just kind of comes right out. You know, one of the harnesses here is, is um, for the knock sensors right there. So really not that difficult. Um, I've also pulled off the oil filter housing. Again, I have a video for that. I've also pulled off the thermostat and the water pump. Videos for that. Everything will be in the description. One thing that I did was, of course, I had to drain the coolant, right? Well, I definitely did not do what I did in my coolant video series. I didn't drain the coolant from the plug on the side of the engine first, the engine block first. Instead, I came up with a different procedure and I'm kind of kicking myself for not turning the camera on while I did it, but it was kind of already too late. So I just want to kind of go over it and go over what I did. So what I did was first take off your radiator cap and the little bleed screw, okay? And then I came down here, I put my drain bucket right underneath the radiator and I opened up the, uh, the drain plug on the radiator and then I just drained that out and I left it open. Then I came up here, once all of that stuff had drained out, what I did was I came on down here, I pulled the, uh, pulled this out so that, you know, we're going to pull off the, the, uh, the coolant expansion tank right here. So I pulled that off and then a whole lot more coolant drained out. And the nice thing is it just drains out. It just drains out straight to the bucket down there. And you know, I just let it sit there for a couple of minutes while it was draining out, you know, the heater hose, which is up here, the hose, which actually runs to the heater core right there. That's plugged into the top of the expansion tank. So that was all draining out. You know, then I unhooked this hose, unplugged it a little bit more coolant drained out. I was able to just kind of let it go straight down. Reposition this light. So I was able to just let it go straight down into my uh, my drain pan, which is down below there. So I had a very nice controlled, um, you know, coolant draining procedure. So I pulled this sucker out, got that out of there, and then there was one more hose connected right here, which is this hose right here that actually runs to the block. You see, I've got it sandwiched down below there, but that hose normally is connected right there. It was difficult for me to get off because it's uh, it's kind of new. I've, I've already changed this hose before, so the O-ring was, you know, good. It was sealing. So anyway, once I pulled that off, a lot more coolant came out as well. Again, everything draining down into the bucket down there. So once all of that was done and everything was finished draining, I moved the bucket over to the center of the engine. That way it's right underneath the center. And then I, all I did was I took off the thermostat, which, you know, there was no coolant in there. Everything had drained out from there. Then I took off the water pump and then a lot more coolant drained out from there, drained straight down into the bucket. So again, nice controlled draining procedure. I didn't lose any coolant onto the floor. Everything wound up in that bucket. And that is absolutely the way that I would go if I was ever gonna do the cooling system on this car ever again or any other E46. That's how I would drain it. Screw the plug on the side of the engine. You do not need to do that. Just do it this way and you will not have any mess. Anyway, that is what this video is all about. I'm gonna to proceed to uh, strip down the rest of the engine and I'm about to shoot the timing video. So, yay. Thanks for watching.